Welcome to Israel. It's been a 10 hour flight. It was quite a long one. It is very beautiful. Beautiful landscape. There's some Mediterranean. Very diverse climates and full of wonderful, awesome people. Israel is an amazing place to be. Also known as the Holy Land. Well, you'll find out why because this trip was truly a trip of a lifetime. A dream come true. All right, so let's get this all started here. It all began in Caesarea by the Sea is where it all started. The Mediterranean Sea. See, it's the Med. Yeah, pretty, pretty lovely. <laughs> But first off, let's talk about the food. So here is one of the unfortunate things. I kind of have a bit of a, a sore throat. So some of this part of the vlog, Israel vlog, is going to be a little bit of voiceover. It's going to be kind of like Senegal. By the way, that that corner. This is this corner. Yeah, I know. Um, you can check out the Senegal playlist. It's almost a year old. Wow. So check it out, that corner. Um, if it's in that corner, it'd be really awkward. I believe it's this corner. All right. So I am in Caesarea, Caesarea by, by the sea. Um, so we're right on the Med, right near the Mediterranean. And it's beautiful. It's beautiful weather here. It's a little bit cloudy, but it is so nice. Recovering from jet lag gonna recover from a cold. Oh. It's so beautiful. I'm so excited. Shawarma. Okay, and uh, one funny thing that we have to also see is the toilets back then. <laughs> uh, you could tell our group was having quite a fun time with that. Uh, that's, that's too fun. Too much fun. Oh man. You know, I had so much fun. I, I'm so happy I got to dip my feet in the Mediterranean. As I don't know if you can tell, but I'm already starting to get sick at this point on the trip. And you can tell my voice will be very different from when you see me in the vlog to when you hear my voiceover. Because as you can tell, thank goodness I am feeling better. one really cool place we went. We went to Mount Carmel. Mount Carmel is known as the place where Elijah tested the Baal prophets. There was quite a hike, but quite a hike that was muddy, but worth it because the view was absolutely amazing. It's, you know, the high place. It's the high place of worship. Wow. You couldn't help but stand in awe of that view and feel a closeness you know, when it talks about a high place, this is a higher place. This is on a mountain. Hey guys, part of my voice, I, I am definitely sick. But, uh, yeah, you can, you know, you're here in Israel. And one of the big things is you know you are safe. Because there are fighter jets. I have seen, like, five. I think by now six that have flown over. Or they're just circling. Like, you're like, hey... Safety is, of course, number one priority here, and you can tell that you are safe. You do feel safe here, so I find that really cool. That's definitely not something you would get, like, you know, back at home. You know, I know at home it's not like, you know, we have fighters just flying over, doing their thing. That That's rare, but here it's eh, pretty much happens every day. Oh! Hey, there's Will again. You show, wow, you showed up in the first Mile 2 vlog, and you showed up in Israel again. We're now at Sea of Galilee. This now the Sea of Galilee is where Jesus walked on the water. Uh, that 
that's what the Sea of Galilee is known for, of course. <laughs> All right, hey guys. So, um, welcome to another day. As you can tell, my voice is still not fully there yet. I'm still um, getting over sickness. I'm feeling better now. Um, but yeah, I am super duper duper excited. We're heading right now to a boat ride, so let's get going. Pardon my voice. There's definitely voiceover in this for a reason, and the voiceover is good because I am kind of sick right now. And as you can tell, I'm about to cough because I'm talking too much. Uh, it's the Sea of Galilee region is really beautiful. Lush at this time. There's green. So you're driving through the Golan Heights. <laughs> Such a cool boat ride. Um, wow, and it was awesome to, to just be on the Sea of Galilee and to just, I mean, it's, it's very true when people say the stories come to life in front of your eyes. And, you know, the, the big thing about this trip is, is the fact that, you know, we are where the Galilean ministry of Jesus took place. And, oh my goodness, my lighting is ruining this moment. All right, and so, it was just so cool to, to just imagine and to be like, wow, you're actually, you're actually seeing where, where it all took place. Sometimes you said, this is the fourth century synagogue. This is not the synagogue that Jesus uh, preached in. Um, it's built on the ruins. If you look at, at, at outside as we came in, you can see the basalt on the bottom of it that is the first century ruins. So this is this is the synagogue area in which Jesus did some significant teaching. And what's really interesting, there's lots of interesting things about Capernaum, but there's three really important stories that come together in John chapter six. And if you read the Gospel of John consistently, one of the things you're gonna find in the Gospel of John is Jesus' growing frustration with people uh, who are only following him for what he can do. And he, he keeps running into them along the way. And what happens at Capernaum is, is one of those sort of great confluences where things come together. Uh, over here, to the west, we've got what's called the Mount of Multiplication. This is where Jesus feeds the 5,000. Just across the shore over there. And, of course, after he feeds the 5,000, the crowds, they just start following him. But, but the issue is, they're, they're really following him only because they want the miracle all over again. That's, that's all they really want from Jesus, is the miracle. Uh, so, um, after that, uh, the, 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 next, the next thing that happens is, the disciples get in a boat. And, and they head off from that location, and they're coming over here, to Capernaum. And that's when we get the storm. And Jesus comes out to the boat. And it, it's actually one of the most fascinating of all of Jesus' miracles. Because, because you, get this, you get this kind of long description about the, the, the loaves and the fishes and whatnot. And, and, and this one here, they're in the boat. And, and there's a storm. And there's no unpacking of the miracle. We, we don't even know what happens. I mean, think about it this way. Um, no, this, this miracle is not mentioned anywhere else in the Gospels. It's only mentioned here. And, and the most amazing thing is, when they see Jesus, the storm is in full, is in full blow. And they see Jesus coming. They're about three miles or so from land, given the route that they're taking, because they don't just come along the shore. They're out in deeper water where the boat can navigate. Um, they can't jump out and swim in the storm. They're going to lose their life. Jesus comes walking on the water. They see him, and he says to them, it's me, and they welcome him, and he gets into the boat, and they're at the shore, and the story's over. We don't, we don't hear about the wind disappearing. Uh, there, there's another calming of the storm where Jesus is sleeping in the boat. Right, and, and in that one, we get Jesus rebuking the wind and the waves and the, and, and the storm becoming calm. None of that happens here. Jesus gets in the boat, and they're at the shore, and it's all over, and there's not a word said. 
But Jesus' answer to them is far more challenging. He says to them, you're seeking me not because you saw a sign, but because you filled yourselves with the loaves. Think about that for a minute. Jesus says their real problem is they're fixated on what they get out of him, not on who he is. And that's it's right here. He's standing in this synagogue. And, and then Jesus answers, I say to you who are seeking that you're seeking me not because you saw signs, but because you ate your fill of loaves. Don't labor for food that perishes. You have been cut off from so much. Labor for the food that endures to eternal life. Labor for the bread of life. The bread of life who is Jesus. And this is the thing. He's standing here and he's teaching. And the people are wowed by what he's doing. And they're loving what they're getting out of him. But they're missing the whole point. So this is like really cool. We are in a quote shopping mall uh, market here um, and it is it's quite cool to see I, I literally just learned that the influence for modern day shopping malls today came from from the Romans this is like a market so this is like the main hallway and then the shops would be on the side I mean who would have thunk that the Romans would have influenced us so much even in the ways of shopping adjust this lighting here a little bit. Ooh. Okay. So here's the dealio guys. As you can see here, well you can hear the water around me. But we were just before we were at a hike at um, Tel Dan and um, over there it's an ancient city and we were seeing the springs. So all these springs that I'm going to be showing you that I'm hiking to all lead into the Jordan, which we saw yesterday. <laughs> I forgot to mention one thing. One of our mile tours actually got baptized in the Jordan River, which was a really, really cool moment. And um, a lot of us very much enjoyed uh, being there and experiencing that moment. The views are absolutely stunning and insane. I just rode a camel Yay! here. Yay! Oh my goodness. Right now we are in Jericho and I rode a camel. That that's goals. Goals. And I vlogged it too. This is a really awkward angle. But this is going to be really good. This is called Upside Down, so it's more of a, well it is traditional um, eating. So I'm excited here. Let's, let's go. Let's cue the awkward angle. Whatever floats your boat. It is a really good it's a pass yeah so that's part one now it's time for part two so stay tuned I'm feeling like I'm fresh out boost. if they want the drama got the ooze ship the whole crew to the cruise so behind me right now that out oh, there that is Syria um yeah so we are here um, on a lookout point and it's so crazy that you can just like look right across and be like wow I'm